So Jamal, um, first of all, we'll just touch on last time out, and obviously, despite the defeat, it was a performance to be proud of out in La Rochelle, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. It was pretty good. Um, like you said, narrow defeat, but um, we stuck to the game plan that we uh, wanted to take out there and took them pretty close. And obviously, to, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of the best club sides in the world, obviously, champions of Europe last season, must have been something that the boys are really proud of and can take a lot of confidence for now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like you said, we, we didn't get the win, but the, the confidence that we can take from that, the fact that we can come up with a plan, execute it uh, pretty well, um, and like you said, take one of the, the best club sides to you know they had to score in what the last two minutes in order to in order to, to break us down. Um, so yeah, uh, a huge amount of confidence that we can take from that, and then obviously uh, hopefully we can use that in these uh, last few games. And what's the mood been like in in training since then? Because it seems to be a pretty pretty positive mood around the place. Yeah, well, I don't think it's ever been negative. To be fair, it's always been a pretty good vibe around here. Um, obviously, it does drop a little bit when when we drop a couple of games. Um, but you know, like I said, in the, in the last two answers, in that the it's definitely picked back up again, knowing what we can actually do. You know, you, sometimes you do begin to doubt yourself a little bit, but you know, when you put in a performance like that against La Rochelle, you're like, okay, yeah, yeah, we are actually a good team. We just need to uh, be a bit more consistent. So. And obviously this weekend then, uh, Bath at King's Home, that doesn't take much uh, getting up before, does it? No, and I think that's one of the things that um, we saw last week is that like, it's a big occasion, you know, when he went over there and so it's um, it's not exactly a hard game to go up for and to be fair, this weekend's going to be exactly the same, you know, it's, what is it going to be a sellout, looking like a sellout um, and it's, you know, probably one of the biggest derbies in, in rugby, so again, on a, an emotional side, it's not going to be that hard to get up for once you arrive here, um, it's just using a combination of that emotion and that kind of clear headspace know that we've got our uh, our game plan in, pra in place and the process is to, to go out there and put in performance. Yeah, it does look like it's going to be a sellout here at King's Home. Obviously, you mentioned the game, the derby, means a lot to the players. It means a lot to the fans as well. So do you sort of have one mind on that, doing it for the supporters? Yeah, I mean, like we kind of try and represent them every time we go out. Um, so it's not, you know, something that we're, well, you know, have a particular focus on this time. Um, but we do know that you know how much this fixture means to everyone involved in Gloucester, from uh, you know from the top all the way all the way through. So um, yeah, that's obviously always going to be a big factor, and, and especially with you know the fact that what we're fighting for now is essentially to get into into the champions for for next season. Um, so it's about going out there. Giving them what, give the fans what they want, and and trying to get some points so we can secure that top eight. And obviously back to back fixtures at King's Home, and then an away trip to Bristol to finish the season. So, are the team nice and confident going into that running? Yeah, I mean it's it's going to be an interesting one because I think if you compare those, if you look at those three fixtures now, and you compare them to how they looked earlier in the season, you know, Sale have always been pretty good, but then you know you've got Bath and Bristol who have found a bit of form, so. It's going to be uh, interesting. It's by no means a, uh, an easy run in, um, where what, you know what it might have looked like before. Um, so it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be tough, but it's 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 what we're here to do is have those those tough games and try and get as much as out of them as we can. Yeah, I guess those tough fixtures are the ones you look forward to as a rugby player. Yeah, yeah, always. I mean, you, it's uh, yeah, you wouldn't really be in it if it was just a, an easy ride. Part of part of loving the game is is those ups and downs and and those tough fixtures which is why you know we got up got up so well for for last week so you know the fact we got um like you said we got bath at home bristol away so they're kind of two derbies and then you're facing the team that are, well they're in second at that moment so yeah all big fixtures crunch time at the end of the season um yeah something that we're massively looking forward to